Hello folks, welcome back to my channel Rides with Richie. I hope you are safe and well today. In case if you are here for the first time, my name is Richard D'Souza and I make a few videos about motorcycles, motorcycle travel, accessories and maintenance. This video is about this particular product over here, the Vigo Smart Track. This is the version 2 of the Vigo Smart Track. I own the previous version as well, which was utter piece of crap. Over a period of time, they said that they came out with a new product, version 2, which is very improved, which is performing flawlessly and all the problems which were existing with the previous tracker were solved and it works fabulously and flawlessly. However, I got this product after a long wait and um, I had ordered two of them. In case if you are buying this product right now on their website, it is sold for $149. I'm not sure how much it is in euros. And the monthly subscription fee is uh, $4.08. As I mentioned, I own the previous tracker as well, the version one of this tracker. Since that previous device failed, what they did was they offered as an upgrade and it was not a free upgrade. I had to pay $30 towards each product. I bought two of them. One is installed on this bike and second one is over here. Quickly, I'll show you what is in there. This is the leaflet which comes in it. And uh, let me open this. Oh, I tore it. It's okay, no problem. There is a cable which connects directly to your battery and this part goes into the tracker itself. This is the tracker on its own. This particular cable gets connected over here. And then there is this 3M sticker as well with which you can stick the device onto your motorcycle. Let's go to the installation part of it now. In the instructions, it says it is pretty easy to install, but it's not. First of all, they did not give us the clear instructions of uh, how to register the version 2 in case if you already had the version 1 part of it. The version 1 was already linked to your uh, application and there was no way that you could uh, remove it from the application so that you can register this. That was one problem. Second problem was um, pretty stupid. You know what it was? They said there was a glitch of registering it with Apple devices. You couldn't register it with Apple devices. Guys, I believe a lot of people over here like me are using Apple products. When you come out with the product, why don't you design it to run both on Android and Apple? However, I had to send them an email and after a couple of days that problem was uh, resolved for me because I couldn't register it myself. They registered the product on to my application on my phone. That's the second thing. How do you install this product? It's pretty simple. As I mentioned, like you can use the wiring harness, connect it to your motorcycle battery and then it gives you clear cut instructions of uh, how to do it over here. I'm not going through all that because it is uh, time consuming. So what was this uh, device designed to do? So there were three key features of this uh, particular device. One was the SOS function and the second was to track all your rides and the third was uh, the theft detection. First and foremost, the most important was uh, SOS function. Touchwood, till date, I did not have to use it. And uh, in case if one of you were unfortunate that you had to use this particular feature, please leave me a comment below so that the other users know that that particular feature works. So I won't be able to comment anything about that particular feature. So let me get to the second feature, what this uh, device was uh, intended to perform. It was supposed to track all your rights on the application. So if I may show you the application over here, I'll start the screen recording so that I can show you exactly how the application looks. So this is how the application looks. So first thing first, it shows how many kilometers you have ridden this month. If your motorcycle is moved, moving or it's parking. So this is one of the glitches over here, which is happening right now. It says it is moving, but my motorcycle is parked over here. Stupid, isn't it? First problem there, right then and there, when I'm trying to look at it. And then uh, it says uh, the riding days this month. This is hilarious. I'm filming this video on the 24th of May. So that means we have completed only 24 days. It says 28 riding days this month. How? Why? I don't know. Okay. Let's get to the next problem there. Second is the location of the device. I'm standing exactly next to the device, but it's still showing that there is some gap over there, which is okay, which is acceptable. GPS locations are not very accurate at all times. The third feature is these rides over here. How many kilometers you have covered on the particular day? Some days, there is a problem with this thing as well. On a few days, it shows that you have done two rides, 
on few days both of those rides are combined for example on the eighth here it shows that you know i have gone five kilometers and seven kilometers maybe it was to work and back that's fine i would have taken a detour on ninth let me go to the map and see oh my god it's so windy over here it's the wind is pushing me i'm so worried that my camera will fall off Look at that now, it's saying acquiring locations, it's not working. Gone, okay, let's go back to it again. No good, failing. Okay, this one is working, so yeah, let's go back to this. This wind is crazy over here. All right, so now we are on the page there. It says on the 9th of uh, May, I have done 15 kilometers and average speed was 33.9 kilometers that was in the city obviously i will not be over speeding if you if i zoom in over here there is this particular triangle which is <laughs> there is this particular triangle which is made i don't know for what reason and uh, there is a straight line i was not flying guys i was just riding around i don't know what happened over here and i'll show you one more day where where is it where is it where is it yeah on this particular day, if I zoom in over here, there are few broken white lines and uh, the ride has been not tracked over there. Again, there is a problem. I don't know what it is. So in the last option over here, you can see uh, like, you know, first top 100 riders who have done the maximum kilometers on the particular day. This is pretty cool. Let me stop the recording now tracking the rights the major problem with this is on a few days it doesn't track your rights recently i made a video where i kept my phone at home in front of the camera which i'm filming on right now and i took my motorcycle and i went for a spin around the block the spin was approximately around a kilometer and it took approximately i believe three minutes for me to go turn around and come back tracker did not track that ride and neither i got a sms notification nor a notification to the app saying that my motorcycle was moving on the second experiment what i did was i took my motorcycle and i went for a spin and i started the timer tracker sent a notification after i completed two kilometers and i was riding for three and a half minutes is this acceptable no it is not i'll tell you why like this device is advertised as it is going to send your notification within seconds of your motorcycle being moved. In this particular incident, it took three minutes for the device to send a notification onto my phone. So let me explain what is the problem here. In case if there is a thief who comes to steal your motorcycle, throws the motorcycle into the back of his van and drives away. By the time you get the notification, it is too late for you to do anything about it. But you can definitely track the thief where your motorcycle is at that stage if the app works. And on a day like this, if it is windy and if the app does not work, there is a problem. When I say it is windy, there is one more problem with this application. Not all the time you can keep your motorcycle covered in a garage. For example, if I'm at work, I leave my motorcycle outside. There is no garage for me wherever I'm going. So in case if you are parking your motorcycle outside and it is windy like it is today the tracker sends notification to your phone saying that your motorcycle is moving in case if you are busy with your work or if you have parked your motorcycle and gone to some other location for some other work if you get the notification you'll get a heart attack saying that your motorcycle is getting stolen where actually it is not it is parked at a place you will panic you'll come back to the location and you'll find the motorcycle in the particular location where you left at this has happened to me a couple of times and now i've stopped bothering about it even today, this morning, I'll take out my phone right away and I'll show you. I'll start the screen recording again so that I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So today is the 24th when I'm filming this video. Right now, I have ridden 7 kilometers because I was just doing some testing. So now, in the morning, I got a notification saying that the motorcycle was moving. So look at this, guys. There is a straight line from my house towards the block and uh, towards the river there. I don't know what is the problem with this. It sent me a notification. I checked outside and the motorcycle was still there. This is not acceptable at all. You are spending your hard-earned money to buy all these products and then you end up with a shitty product like this. It is no good. Another problem with this is, for example, if you park your motorcycle wherever you live and go on a holiday and it gives you a false notification saying that your motorcycle is being stolen, you will definitely panic and you'll call the emergency services and you'll dispatch the cops or Garda or whoever. They'll come to the location and they will say 
that your motorcycle is still there. In case if they can come, it's fine. If not, all the time, whatever you're doing, you might, be a, you might be enjoying a precious moment somewhere in your holiday destination and getting a false notification like that will uh, ruin your experience and it is not a very good experience at all, I must say. So folks, this is my experience about the Vigo Smart Track. Have you bought one of these products or are you planning to buy one? In case if you have bought one, please leave me a comment below about uh, how is your experience with it and uh, what do you feel about it. In case if you're going to buy one, stop there don't don't waste your money because it's not worth it i always believe in uh, giving a second chance so that's the reason i went ahead and ordered two of the trackers when my first one had failed i thought it would work but i was foolish i took a wrong decision ordered two of the products out of which one is on the bike which is not working fine what i would recommend you to do is do not waste your money this is the first time ever i'm making a negative review about anything i'm not a person who makes negative videos or reviews but I'm so pissed off with these guys that I had to make this I hope you have enjoyed this video I hope this video is uh, helpful to you in case if you have owned one of these products please leave me a comment below of uh, how your experience is with this product and please do not uh, forget to like and uh, subscribe uh, to my channel that will help me grow my channel as well I'll be making few more videos about few more products which I'll be using uh, in the near future. Thank you very much guys. Stay safe, take care of yourself and keep exploring. See you in the next one.